Welcome back to more Summoner's War, everybody. So last time, we ended up reaching floor number... I keep saying floor, oh my god. Stage number 57. Well, technically 58, because now we're doing 58. But yeah, we reached that, and... To be honest, it hasn't been all that bad. I mean, there has been some problems here and there. About, like, almost dying, but luckily I caught them and I actually stopped and manual. But, like, for example, the last one, 57, was actually kind of problematic. I actually had to stop. I think you saw that. And manual for a little bit. Uh, let's just hope that things go pretty smoothly at least for the beginning, but I'm assuming that once I reach 60, that I'm just not going to be able to do this anymore, and I'm going to have to bring out my healer, Amon. Because all of you already know that I don't use Belladion because I'm an idiot, that's why. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> that's actually why. I mean, that's the truth, you know? It's because I never even... Oh my god. Like... I always kept delaying myself. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go for a bell on next week. And next week. Next week. You know, anytime it's a it's a light day, it's a light dungeon, and I never got around to it. And even to this day, I still haven't done it. It's it's amazing how much I've accomplished though without Bella. Like, oh my god, all these PVP victories. Oh god, they already killed Shan. Oh, I need a manual. I need a manual. I need a manual. This was dumb because I forgot their move, but they freaking team up and then stupid Tark. So now I have to do this. Damn it. Okay, you need to kill... You need to kill some of these. Okay, that was pretty nice. Go ahead and kill at least one. That'll... That'll make things easy. Easier, I should say. Okay, go ahead and reset. I'm not gonna reset the targets because they're water. There's a good chance I could glance hit them. That's being a waste of time. Yeah, that's pretty good. Good thing I stunned both targets though. That's pretty nice as well. Okay, uh, so then he's basically dead. Good. He's also dead. Okay, set up auto. Okay, so should I try floor 59 without my healer? I think that starting from 60, I'm gonna have to switch to my Amon. Because I don't think Fee is... Like, every other monster has a good roll. Fee's is gonna be... It's coming to an end here. Yeah, let me try 59. I should be okay. I mean, they're offense monsters. They're, actually, they could kill Shannon again. I may just have to manual. I'm gonna manual the third area. How about that? I'll just auto these two. They shouldn't be all that bad, you know? They're just the first two, whatever. But then I'm gonna have to, as I just said, manual. We'll see. We will see. Alright, so, a bunch of Darions here, which, cause, oh my god, no, 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 wait, yeah, this is dangerous, as you can see, very dangerous indeed, very dangerous, so, let's see, that's pretty good there, that's pretty good, okay, I'm gonna go back to auto, this might be stupid, but we'll see, Yeah, it's best to go for the Darian, that way you can- or Darion, whatever. That way we can not deal with that- okay, that reduction thing. I didn't want to do that, damn it, now I wasted my good skill. I kept the auto for one second too long. Okay, let's see. Okay, pep talk. Phoenix fire. Honestly, the water ninja or whatever, Sazm is gonna attack the fires, not Fee. Pretty sure, at least. Yeah, so that's fine. Okay, that. I didn't. Actually, that was fine. That one should die, that rogue. It's also pretty good. Stun, nice. And with that, I believe I can just auto. Should be okay. Well, that was 59. Also rather tough, as you can see, but again, it's because I don't have a healer. But now I need to switch to my healer. Because there's no freaking way I'm going to do this without a healer anymore. There's no way. Alright, so next stage. Replace you with... Ma'amon. Oh, look at that, it's Sylvia. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well... Hopefully this goes well. I mean, I don't know. Pretty similar to Tark. It's not passive there. I mean, Tark is not passive. There's a monster where, like, everybody just goes a monster really. An attacking ability, I meant, which makes all monsters attack. But Sylvia's is more so just a smaller passive, but it's passive. Smooth, really smooth. Once again, sorry if I'm not talking much, I'm just kind of gauging, and so far it's going pretty well. I mean, it should be. I've been able to auto this in other trial extensions, looking for a really high number. is now manual just so I don't, I don't use my good skills you know okay oh jesus dude she's a, oh my god she's a hot babe that's her damn attire what the heck okay so i think i'm just gonna attack her yeah should be fine okay i'm just gonna do that sure you better provoke her thank you um, except, of course, DOTs, I'm gonna land them on other monsters. Oh my god. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, let's get a turbulence on you. That's good. Let's keep landing DOTs on other monsters, but every other attack I do, I do prefer to attack her and or also provoke. Glancing hit. Nice. Get that critical. Stun. Only one stun. That's not good. Um, I'll attack somebody else. Do that. Just go ahead and attack. I think by this point, if I'm just aggressive, I should be able to kill every... Like, yeah, I should be able to do this. Now with my attack buff, I should be okay. So let's go... Let's go Berserk. Here we go. I should have turbulence, but oh well. Go, let's kill it. Kill it. Her. Okay, and that'll land me a um, what is it? A Rainbow Mon. Nice. Okay, next stage. Okay, I'm so confused right now. Did I just see four of those one-star monsters alongside a freaking succubus? What kind of stage is this? This is like very easy. I mean, I'll take it. But what the heck? I mean, yeah, sure. Go ahead and waste your good moves. That was three spell strengthening in a row. And luckily, buffs don't stack in this game. It's not like they would have plus six turns for attack and defense. Because they wouldn't. No. But like, wow, that's... Yeah, just wow, right? You know one thing I haven't tried when I'm doing these recordings of just autoing a bunch of stuff? Like, why don't I actually put... Put this on the big screen TV. Obviously for myself, not for all of you, because you can't see that. You can still just see the screen on the YouTube video. But like, I just thought about that. Like, why don't I just... I, can't, I need to do that. Like, I can totally connect an HDMI cable to... from the Elgato capture card out into the TV to output and then turn on the TV and it should actually work. It should, right? Let me actually try that right now. I know this is kind of like so unqualified doing this, but... Hmm. Okay. So, like, in terms of distance, I apologize. 
We're just fixing some stuff here a little bit. It's funny because like you're just watching the game like autoing and I'm actually talking about other stuff over here. Alright, and then go to source. Select HDMI. Oh, not that. Source. HDMI. Oh, I actually need to connect it. Hold on. Hold on. would work it's just that I've it's better to plan it before an actual recording but yeah I'm back I'm back I can't believe I actually stood up and did that oh my god all right and then auto this one 62 now Sorry, I haven't been talking, just kind of like focusing and concentrating on other stuff. Okay, all set. Well, it is on the big screen. But it actually has a weird red tint to it, and I don't know why that is. I totally don't know why. That is very interesting. Yeah, no, it does actually appear. It does show up on the big screen. That's 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 really nice how it looks. It looks really nice. Oh my god. I know all of you can't see this because again you're just seeing the one video. Like the one video on YouTube. And that's basically it. But yeah, there's a weird, uh, like I was saying, a weird red tint to it. And I don't actually know why that's the case. That is a little interesting. In such a strange way. But again, I feel like it's pretty simple to fix that. I think I just have to like replace the cable or switch out the port or something. Anyway, back to the game because um, I have not been talking about the game at all. As you can see, I'm fighting some, um, I'm fighting the Water Oracle, which has like the best healing skill in the game, but with the negative side, as he falls asleep. But in terms of just the healing capabilities, it's like the best healing skill in the game. Okay, well there we go. See what's funny is that like now that I stop playing, that is so strange. Sorry, I'm just like looking at the TV while I'm doing this. Now that I stop playing, it actually looks fine, completely fine. Um, wait, 
the heck? I don't want that. But like when I'm actually going on to play a stage... Wait, did I just play the same one? No, I didn't. I didn't do that. 6 2 three. Oh no, it's, it's nice that it worked. It's, it's fixed. It's been fixed to beat people. Yes. Totally has. It looks nice now. Completely nice. It's always like... Because to me it's always been interesting seeing a, um, like an iPhone game on the big screen. Because you're not used to seeing that, you know? It's not like it's normal for that to happen. It felt like when you're... Oh my god. And I can of course turn up the volume. Actually no, it's not working. The volume isn't working, I don't know why, but okay. Whatever, who cares. Not that I really need the volume anyway. Because I don't. But yeah, everything's nice. HP counts are max, as you can see. No, no issues here or there. And it's stage 63, as I keep saying, so... Let's see, wait, didn't I already do this? Okay, I feel like I repeated this one. I was not paying attention. I, that's, that's the thing. I wasn't paying attention at all. So that's why I feel like I'm repeating it accidentally. Oh, God. If it is, I totally just wasted two minutes of your lives, people. I'm hoping that it actually gives me mana. If it gives me mana, it means that it was a new stage. If it does not, it means that I wasted time. Oh boy. Dude, I feel for certain that I'm progressing though. Like, I don't think I was at 64 then. I was at 62. That stage where I was fighting the Dark Phoenixes, right? Dark Phoenix. Speaking of Dark Phoenix. Who's pumped for the new... X-Men movie, and I'm getting mana, thank god. Because I know I am. That new Dark Phoenix man, oh my god, really? Another refill? Shoot. So many refills. Okay, let's do this one. Another refill. Now, the question is, why are we uh, 70 in this episode? The answer is yes. <laughs> so I don't know why I said the question is, because obviously it's... It's a simple answer, you know? It totally is. But yeah, that, again, like I was saying... Huh. What are you not confused about? Is the fact that no music is playing. Like, all of, all of you are getting the music. The audio. The game audio, you know? But not on my end. Oh well. Once again, I'm pretty much out of ideas to talk about because I'm just like, I'm now just seeing the TV on like the pro progress that I'm doing when autoing and it's that simple. But luckily I'm about to reach the uh, two-thirds mark very soon. The 66 slash 67 are the two-thirds. So yeah. And then again, 70 would be the 7 tenths mark. That's gonna be nice. Because once I do 70, there's only 3 bosses left. It would be 80, 90, and 100. And the bad thing is that I haven't seen Veramos yet, which means Veramos is gonna be... Oh my god, dude. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so 3 girls here. 
Um, this is not good because. Okay, I actually need to stop this stupid stuff. Use all your good skills, please. I actually want to provoke. Damn it! I missed. Okay, okay. Pep talk. Okay, go back to Ottawa and kill this first one, please. Once I kill one, that'll be significantly easier, as you can have already know. Yeah, so that's one down. Not the one in the middle, I believe, is what, Nikki or something? I'm pretty sure. Man, if only I had a Nikki. If only I had any Nat 4 Darker Light, except V. That's really, that's literally the only Nat 4 I've ever gotten from a Light and Dark Scroll. Like, what the heck, man? Alright, there we go. Moving on to stage number 65, which has two Elusias and... Did I see a water pirate? I think it was water pirate. Hmm. Well, alright then. Alright. So it's not a bunch of fire. Shannon needs to be a little careful here, but I think I'll be okay. Like, I don't see any... I don't see any problems, you know? I really don't. Alright, that's Jojo down. Another Jojo. What's up? Okay. And I don't know who said that. I don't know who said that right now. I totally don't. Damn, man. Okay, now we got some Taharas and some, um. Oh, damn it. I used to know the name of that freaking dark. Oh my god. Dark Hellhound. I forgot. I used to know it. Secret dungeon open. Frankenstein, I, I know, we know that. Sally, did you got your Tessa and Fuko left? Says Hellrel. Grats, 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 who the fuck? Oh my god. You lucky. Hmm. Yeah, I know, some, some freaking good mons, as you can see. Oh, jeez. That is a massive increase in critical rate. I mean, only for fires, but still, it's freaking good. What's happening? Oh, that was light pure and not water. My bad, my bad. Okay, don't... You need to kill this thing before it heals. Okay, thank God you sleep, though. I, I thought you were gonna freaking heal it, purify it. Oh my god, somebody just got an oracle. What the heck? How do all these people get this shit? And I don't get garbage. I mean, I only get garbage is what I meant. Okay, well I did that. 65 is down. Moving on to 66. 66. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, I mean, obviously like the last... Okay. For this video, the past 10 minutes were kind of shit. Because I was focusing on the TV. But like, I'm talking more now. But one thing I want to tell all of you is that... Obviously, I do these videos for my like self-progression just to see what I can do. But also kind of like as a walkthrough. Especially the parts that people request me to do, like Trial of Ascension. So, like with me doing this, it's kind of like a... Again, it's a walkthrough. So if y'all are having trouble, just follow something similar to me. I mean, all these monsters that I have at the moment are farmable except Vertiheal. Um, if you don't have a Vertiheal, there are other monsters that are nice ATB manipulators for your team. The most common is Bernard. You know, he, uh, he gives a speed increase to your entire team. and also raises 30% of the bar for all monsters. Some people use Megan. Other people use uh, Fireheart. Um... Although I think Fireheart cannot be farmed either. Wait, can, can Megan... 
I don't know. Megan can't be farmed. Holy shit, though. Megan. Fireheart. I've already healed. Bernard can be farmed, obviously. Um, I mean, there are others. I, just, I seriously can't think right now. Um, you can also use... Monsters that lower the ATB of the opponent. Obviously, Barat is one example with Turbulence, but uh, there's more. Um, what the hell is that freaking d the Dark Mammoth? Basalt, that's right. Uh, so him, he's one example. There's many more. The uh, You can also farm for the, the Water Horus, Ke Kebis Senweth. He's another example of one that can also do that, but he will also improve your attack. So, similar role to Shannon, but also your critical rate is supposed to defense and then also make one ally invincible. So, he's a pretty decent monster when it comes to that. Um, on top of all this, you can also just have another CC unit to stun more. Obviously, you'll need to change after like when you're fighting the boss because you can't just rely on CC. But like, people actually bring in Lapis here a lot with despair and high speed. Despair Revenge, High Speed Lapis. Solid monster for Child Ascension. Honestly, solid monster. Lapis's purpose is not to do high attack. Um, despite it looking like it is as a freaking as a magic knight, you're like, oh yeah, heck yeah with that sword. This amazing fighter gal. No. It's not about attack, it's about CC for her. You despair revenge her with high speed and you make her tanky. And that's her purpose. All right, there we go. 66 is done. Moving on to 67. Now, um, even though I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna finish up to 70 in this episode. Maybe not. To be honest, maybe not. And that could prove to be a problem, I mean, unless I maybe extend the video a little bit. But like, I don't know, man. The reality is that it's just simply not going to be... Even by like 32 minutes, I'm not going to get it, because I still have to do the rest of this, then 68, 69, and then the 70, which is the boss one. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe it'd just be nice to finish right before the boss, which would be finishing 69. And then beginning the boss, 70, the next one. Potentially, you know, potentially. Fighting these, oh my god, water sylphs. Because man, did, did you did I just attack four times? And that got attacked two. Oh my god. Even when they don't have violent runes, they still find a way to freaking proc all the time. Stupid enemy monsters. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, that first skill, it has a chance to attack again, but like only that skill again. It's not like a true violent proc. Is a little attack only that one, please. Okay, at least you stun Gina, so that's fine. Okay, Amon's about to die. You better kill this stupid thing fast. He's dead, or she's dead. Sorry. So that's 67 down, moving on to 68. I'm up to 217 summoning stones, by the way. That's pretty damn good, I would say. 68. Hmm, let's see. 
Jeffrey, five star. Huh. He's like a... A weaker version of chilling. Because he used to be really good, but I think somebody told me that he got nerfed a while ago. Years ago. Year, by this point, it's years ago, you can say, but... Yeah. Fatal? Let's see. Personally, I'm not a fan of using a critical damage in slot 4 if it's a 5 star. I don't know why, but like just seeing that 80% is juicy on the 6 star as opposed to 65%, you know? Oh yeah, so one thing I should also mention is that I'm currently at like 80, um... What do you call them? Like the 80... It's not scrolls, but like for an Efrit, I'm 80 out of 100. So, also, by the time I finish this TOA, and also the other TOA as much as I can off screen, and also just do the event a little more, I should also have enough for summoning an Efrit, so I'm also going to be doing that in the, uh, well, yeah, you know, the video. That massive summoning video that I keep talking about. So I'm only at 68 here, um, I'm almost out of time, so actually what I'm gonna do is just end it here after this one. Which put me more behind more than I thought. I thought I was gonna be able to get to 70 in this episode, but I actually didn't. Oh my god, dude. What the shit is this? Don't you dare die. Here, give me the good stuff. Okay, you need to attack this guy. Attack that. Right, here's some pep talk. Here's some turbulence on you. Okay, good. And you stun it too. That's the ultimate thing you want to do. Okay, do some of that. Do some of that. Do some of that. Okay, should we get the... It's just something I don't trust this stupid auto, man. Like, the AI is so stupid sometimes. Like, I can't believe how dumb it is. It's such a dumbass. I'm just like, why would you not use pep talk? When you have a chance to use energy ball or pep talk, do it if there's no buffs on me. Like, you're so... Like, you dumb shit. Seriously, AI. I don't understand. Okay, so with this... They're dead. Alright, so again, I'm gonna end it here. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and fantastic day.